right before the pandemic, like September 2019, I think uh, we did this bathroom. Um, first bathroom, I ever towel. Uh, it's okay. It is what it is. The towel was left here by, I don't know, somebody who owned the property before us. And instead of throwing it out, we decided, hey, repurpose, reuse. And so that's what we did. This bathroom was roughed in. And that just means that it didn't have any walls. Um, the toilet was here, but it wasn't connected. There's no sink. And the piping for the shower, I think, was mostly here. Here, It was ran because the tub was here, but the, even the tub wasn't connected. And so we did all that work to get the, the bathroom functioning. And one of the things that I have been meaning to do for quite some time is put on a grout cellar. Most people are probably thinking, how you... How you do a bathroom two, three years ago and, and not seal the grout? Well, we never use this bathroom. We have a full bathroom upstairs on the main level and this basement, it's still unfinished. There's a lot of projects to do down here. And so that's why I didn't do it. So I'm doing it now. And you're gonna go along with me for the ride. Let's go. Top. Ooh, great. I've been told to not let this dry on the towel because apparently if it dries, it's gonna show and not look good. And so that's why I have this rag with me to wipe along the edges of the tile. Apparently a sign that indicates that the grout is accepting the applicator is if it turns slightly dark. And so that is actually happening here. And so that's a good thing. It's very watery like. It's like, let's see if you can see this. See that droppage coming out? That's what it looks like. Apparently there are different brands of sealer. I have no idea what all the brands are. I'm pretty sure this was left here. <laughs> by the prior owner of the house. There's like tons of supplies that was left here that we um, did not throw away. We use it for various um, projects that uh, we've completed. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was something that was left here. sandy it's because we used a um, grout that is sanded and so it's a little bit more porous than um, other grout that you would normally see that has a, a smooth um, texture to it um, I would describe it as looking more like a caulk but really it's a smooth grout unsanded grout and we went with unsend it because it was free. <laughs> it was left here in this house. And so we said, oh, no, 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 we can't let this go to waste. We're going to use this. We're going to use it and we're going to love it. Done. And so technically I could apply another coat. I might apply another coat. I can wait 20 minutes and... If I do it, I'll do it. But right now, I'm sort of on the fence looking at the, um, the, the grout applicator going into the seams. It darkened the seams just like it should. And so there's no reason why I think I would need to do an additional um, uh, coat unless I'll test it maybe in 20 minutes and see if the water soaks into the grout. If it beads and run off it, then I'm good to go. If it soaks into it, I'll probably do another another coat just to be on the safe side. I was calling you. Why didn't you answer? 
I was very busy.